Oh hell yeah, let's play some Hollow Knight. Just gonna skip all this. Just a bit of a disclaimer, I've already like finished this game, so, you know, keep that in mind when I'm doing really good, it's because I've done this like a million times. I have not played it in a while though, so let's hope I'm not too good at it, otherwise that'd be pretty boring. Yeah, see, there we go. I got hit on the first thing. Clearly not that good. Totally meant to do that. Not sure how the mic quality will be because this is a different mic than what I used to use to upload, but I don't even think that one was very good, so should have got away. Um, yeah, let's hope this one turns out good. I mean, it's a Razer headset, so it can't be too bad. Razor are normally pretty good, so let's hope for the best. Uh, so, fun fact, I didn't actually know you could do uh, that, so this thing here. I didn't know you could do that when I first played the game for a long time. So for like the longest time I was like, you know, just bad at the game. And uh, I couldn't figure out why I couldn't do certain things, and I realized, oh, you meant to hop on those. So, uh, yeah. suppose that's one sort of good thing about, you know, this sort of game where it doesn't tell you what to do. It's like, when you find that stuff out, you feel really good about it, you know? I like it. I felt like, you know, I didn't even figure it out by myself. I was watching, uh, probably... Now, it wouldn't have been Scott Falco's video, but I was watching something, and I noticed that they were, um, you know, uh, pogoing. I was like, whoa, that's a thing. I felt so stupid, because I was like, oh, of course. And, uh, yeah. Now, I'm playing on console, obviously, so I can't, like, speed run it properly. But, uh, yeah, let's just have fun. Don't know how long I'll do this for, I might just upload one of these, see how it goes. But uh, yeah, it's it's been a while since I've uploaded, obviously. Uh, I'm not going to say I was busy, because I wasn't. Just sort of couldn't be bothered uploading anymore. You know how it is. You just get bored. But I thought, hey, why not do a thing? Got nothing better to do. I actually got onto this game because uh, I was at my cousin's and he had it on the Switch and uh, for some reason there was a lot of input de delay um, but from what I did see when I did play it I really liked it. I was like you know what I might play this myself one day you know pick it up. Then one day I saw the game on sale on here for like dirt cheap so I picked it up. And uh, now it's one of my all-time favorite games, <laughs> and I actually kind of wish I paid full price for it, as weird as that sounds. It's definitely a game worth paying full price for, you know. It's just that good of a game. Shit. So yeah, I 
have not played this in a long time, so, uh, so yeah. I do occasionally do Steel Soul runs, not anymore though, but I used to. And, um, so yeah, I would not make that mistake back then, but, I don't know, I haven't played this in so long. Because a bunch of stuff came out, uh, Catherine Full Body came out, that was cool. Uh, I never played the original Catherine, but, you know, I like Persona 5. I'm going to get Persona 5, the Royal, when it comes out. So, uh, I pre-ordered Catherine Full Body, and I had a lot of fun with it, you know? I didn't think I would, but I was kind of just getting it because it was an Atlas game. Which, um, you know, normally getting a game just because the studio comes from doesn't always pan out. I mean, just look at Bethesda, you know? Used to be anything with their name when it was gold, but nowadays, you know, eh. I mean, Fallout 76, I played it. Uh, mind you, I played it, like, ages after it already came out. And, look, it wasn't bad. But I can see why people were mad at it. And now with all this paid subscription shit that's going on, I can definitely see why, you know, Bethesda have just sort of shot themselves in the foot big time with that. But it's whatever. You know, at least, uh... Cyberpunk looks good. At least I think it looks good. I mean, everyone thinks it looks good at this point. Um, I'm... You know... I'm a Keanu Reeves fan, of course. Everyone is. Uh, I'm not gonna say I liked his stuff before John Wick, because, you know, I hadn't really seen much with him in it. But I like him now, and I think he's cool. Uh... Especially with all that internet stuff that's going on, it's just the funniest. It's always funny when people's careers get like... I'm not gonna say, like... You know... It's just... It's de like, the internet stuff's definitely helped his career. He's, he's, he's a cool guy, from what I've seen. I've never met him, of course, so I can't actually... Speak from experience, but... He does seem like a pretty cool dude. I'd like to hang out with him. I'd like to hang out with Arnold Schwarzenegger. I reckon he'd be fun. Now we're gonna open that and do nothing about it. Uh, so, funny story about this game. Uh, I didn't play it, like, properly when I first got into it. I think I um, spent the first, like, few hours playing it just in this area. Not this area specifically, but, like, this top area. And if you played it, you know that you're meant to, you know, go places in this game. But I just stayed in the one, the crossroads, because I was, like, too scared to progress any further. Uh, you know... However, that's not the way to play it. You just sort of gotta go, really. Um, and I, I like I got into Dark Souls right after I got into this. Or I think it was the other way around. Maybe I played Dark Souls first, Dark Souls Three. And um, I love Dark Souls Three too. Um, it's really fun. And the thing about Dark Souls Three is. Okay, so, I also played Bloodborne, and I've tried playing Bloodborne that many times, and I was always really bad at it. I could never get very far, because I was always too scared to lose all my progress. Then I played Dark Souls 3, and then got super into it, and um, ended up getting, you know, pretty far, because uh, I realized, you know, you just got to sort of go for it. And then I did that with Bloodborne, and did so much better, because I stopped, like, worrying about losing my progress, because it was like... So what? You know, you can always get back to where you were. And then, I think that helped me a lot with this game, because I wasn't so scared anymore to just go for it. Because a lot of this game is just taking chances. Uh, I've seen some people play it where they only have one point of health for so long, and it's crazy. 
It's like if I, that was me, I probably would have a heart attack. But. to the point where I don't actually remember what I used to upload on the YouTube channel anymore. And, uh, I doubt many people are going to see this anyway, if, aside from some of my friends who are always like, you should upload crap. And I was like, eh. But, um, yeah, so I guess they'll be happy to see some stuff uploaded to the channel. <laughs> Even if I'm not planning to do much more than this, it's just, you know. Uh, you might have noticed the name changed as well. Uh, funny story about that. It, my YouTube channel used to be linked to my school email address. And, um, you know, about six months ago, they were like, oh yeah, we're gonna, like, get rid of your school email once you leave. So I was like, oh man, I gotta change all my stuff now. So I've gone and changed a bunch of things to different accounts but for whatever reason the YouTube account and the Google account I have that are connected they didn't change at the same time and um, so I was like alright I'll change the emails around um, for this one and something happened and it didn't change the same email and I've got a lot of emails don't ask why it's a long story um, so I ended up the name got changed because I had to change it and I I don't know it won't let me go back to what it originally was, but this will do for now. I might end up changing it in the future anyway. Uh, yeah. As for what I've been doing since I last uploaded, I've been getting back into doing art and stuff. I uh, actually painted a few Hollow Knight pictures. They're not good, but they're fun. And then I even did some um, 3D models out of, you know, Hot glue and tin foil actually. Tin foil works really well with hot glue as like a armature, as I found out. And I made a little, uh, the knight and little hornet doll figurine things there. They're all right. I mean, I'm happy with them. And I did one out of poly clay for the knight. And I started on making other ones, but I just, I don't know. I have a thing where I lose interest with stuff pretty quickly in terms of art. Uh, that's probably why I don't have like a set style when it comes to 2D stuff. But I did some other stuff with cardboard and hot glue recently. Um, I made some like these cool masks and some weapons for a school thing and they came out really well. I was really happy with them. The uh, thing about Hollow Knight, I got a friend into it um, and he, he loves the game. I was like you should check out this game, it's really good. And he's like, oh, okay. And then he got super into it. Um, so, yeah. Not many of my other friends have played it, but, you know, at least one of them liked it. It's probably one of my all-time favorite games, and, you know. I was actually, um, I still kind of am, but I was working on a uh, sort of D&D &D style game for Hollow Knight, for my own design. Um, it's on hold right now, but, you know, it wasn't bad, I mean, we, did, we, we didn't get a full game going, but we worked on a lot of systems and stuff, and I had character sheets uh, roughed out, which were all right. So yeah, if I ever um, finish that, you know, I might say something about it on my YouTube channel, <laughs> for all five people that will see it. There we 
go. Um, so if you haven't played Hollow Knight, you know, I really recommend it. It's a really fun game. Um, yeah, it's like, it's not for everyone, but you know, if you like, um, if you like games that, you know, have, you know, harder sort of feels like it, this game isn't impossible. It's, it's very easy actually, but, um, if you like games that have a bit more of a challenge than just like your simple go here, do thing games, this is definitely one of them. It's got a lot of optional content. If you like Dark Souls or From Software games with the similar sort of thing, it's basically a uh, like as as overused as the the Dark Souls of genre game thing is. It is essentially a, a Dark Souls of two D games. Like, oh, it sounds weird saying it, but it kind of is. You know, it's got it's got a lot of bosses, so it's like Dark Souls in that regard. Um, but there isn't much in the way of like character customization, you know, you'll pretty much have the exact same experience as everyone else, minor a few abilities, but there is like, charm layouts, like before you saw me equip charms and shit, there is a few interesting combinations of that, um, for example my friend likes having the longer reach charms equipped, whereas I like having the charms that, you know, just change my movement and give me more mobility, speed and all that. I mean, doing extra damage isn't bad either, but, you know. Games where there's a bit of customization are always nice. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Crap. Alright, I'll... I'll keep going. Oh, shit. Alright. No, maybe I won't. <laughs> no, I'll keep going till we hit the little stag station up ahead. And then I'll go back and do the thing because actually I missed a character I was meant to unlock. I completely forgot about it. So yeah, it has not been. It has been a very long time since I played this. I'm already forgetting basic stuff like that. I've been playing Borderlands Three. That's really good. I uh, if if you're a fan of the shoot and loot style of games. I definitely recommend Borderlands 3, but I guess you don't really need me to tell you that. I mean, everyone's heard of the game by now. Um, I've been playing as Flack. I like him. I feel like a lot of people are playing as him. Like, I've asked around and... like in, in terms of my friend group, not so much, but like people online and everything, and a lot of people, like YouTubers, they all seem to like him. And um, I'm doing another playthrough with some guy from, I want to say England, uh, where I'm playing as Amara. She's pretty fun. Um, I don't know. I'm not. I I like Beastmaster characters like like Flack or Gage from Two. I like being able to summon people to help you out. I think it's just a nice ability to have, you know. Ah, oh, shit. I'm really out of touch. I haven't played this in so long. Ah, oh, come on. I used to do most of this part without taking any damage. Can you believe it? Now I'm just... Ah. Oh. oh, my God. I'm just... Ah. Oh. Okay. I'm... Ah, oh, come on. There we go. That's how out of practice I am, holy crap. You know, when I first played Hollow Knight at my cousin's, I don't even think I made it this far. I think I probably made it to, um... I don't know. I, I didn't even... I didn't get past the first area. I think after I unlocked Cornifer's wife as an NPC, I think that's about as far as I made it, which if you play the game, that's not very far in the game.
But to be fair, the controls at the time did have massive lag. I think it was because where he lived, there was a lot of interference from stuff around, maybe? I don't know. That might have been it. Um, but it was like a whole half a second delay, and in a game like this, that's a lot. You know, you got stuff flying around the screen coming at you super fast, you, and you got to move a second ahead of yourself. It's like, nah, man, I'm good. And for a while, I've been thinking of stuff to upload to the channel, just for fun. I knew, I know, I said I was going to do a bully playthrough, but that kind of just didn't happen. I just couldn't be bothered, you know? It just became a lot to do. And then my headset broke too, like that's a valid excuse. Uh, <laughs> excuse, <laughs> yeah. Uh, a buddy of mine you know, accidentally stepped on the cord and it bent and I didn't want to fork out another $50 for a headset. And then when I did have enough to buy a new one, they did, they stopped making the ones I liked. The one I'm using now is just a um, Overwatch Diva headset. I like it, it's a good headset. Like I'm, I'm not normally one to be big on brands when it comes to that sort of stuff, but Razer aren't bad, you know? They're, they're pretty good. Um, I like Skull Candy in terms of, like, music listening stuff. Like, my favorite pair of earplugs I had before they broke were a knockoff pair of Skull Candies. Then I bought the actual ones. And they broke in a fraction of the time that it took the other ones to break. To be fair, they were high quality, but like there was also all this little stuff. Like they didn't have the thing that tells you whether it's left or right. And I know for some people that might not be a big deal, but you know, you get used to listening to music with a dominant ear, and then you go to listen to it, and you've got the wrong thing in, and you only hear half the audio. It's like what the fuck. What else has come out recently? There's been a few good games. Um, Life is Strange 2. That's come out. I think it's almost fully out. I haven't played it, but you know, I plan on getting it when the um, physical special edition comes out, because I have the special edition for both the other games. So, you know, why not get it? funny, uh, I used to record these videos with like a timer so I knew how long I'd been recording because on PlayStation you can only record for so long, but now I'm just hoping for the best. I think in my Steel Soul runs I could be at the City of Tears in an hour, so I can probably get to Hornet's area in under an hour. Oh. I'm not sure, I can't remember how I used to do this, but there's a way to sort of, you know, bug this fight, where you just sort of, if you're down here by the time he screams, he doesn't do the swoop thing, so you just sort of, can just sort of hit him. So, you know, his boss fight takes way less effort. Ah, oh, there you go, now he does it. But if you sort of make your way back and forth to the platforms, you know, the fight can be over a lot quicker. Now it's taking way too long there, but when I did my Steel Souls, that's what I would do, because, you know, you wouldn't have to worry about him hitting you. Like, it's an easy boss, but it's just quicker. Although, to be fair, if I wanted it to be quicker, I could just straight up skip it, because that boss fight is not essential at all. But it is good for the um, the geo, the money. If I was doing Steel Soul, I'd stay back and fight those guys. 
but uh, I'm not doing that, so I'm not really too fussed on saving time and shit. Which is weird, because like, I try to be super fast on my Steel Soul run, because I just want to get there as quick as possible. But I'm not doing that. I really love this game. I can't wait for Silk Song to come out. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm planning on getting it. Not day one because I can't afford it. Unless it's like a similar price to this, in which case I will probably get day one. But I'm really excited for it. I just, I, I, I understand why, but it kind of sucks that it's being released on Switch first, then console will come way later. It's sort of like. You know, with um, a hat in time where console came way down the track. Which is fair enough, I guess. And um, But it turned out to be really, really, really bad on console. Because you can't get DLC and all that. Which means you can't play as um, Bo Kid. Which sucks, because I'd... L she just looks so cool, man. If you played a hat in time. Ah, oh, so good. It's really fun. But I haven't finished it because I found out you couldn't get all the DLC. And what's the point of playing it if you can't get everything for it, you know? I don't like that when um, ports of games or secondary releases of games don't have the full experience available. That's one of the reasons why I stopped playing Bully because I realized it wasn't Scholarship Edition, which means you couldn't you know, play all the extra stuff that came with it. Which, technically, Scholarship Edition can be seen as a separate game, but... I mean, yeah. I, I wish they'd remaster it. It's, it's, it's kind of the same with Atlas games, but at least, like, when they do it, it's a long gap between them. Like, Persona 5, it's been out for, like, what, three, four years? By the time Persona... The Royal, Son of the Royal will be out. By then, you know, if you haven't played the game, you may as well just pick up the next one. But if you already have played uh, P5, then the Royal is just going to be a different experience. I think it was the same with P4 Golden, where it was almost enough to be considered a different game. Not enough to be seen, considered a different game, but almost, you know? They added all this cool crap. I never played either P4 games. I just, um, I watched the anime and it was really, like, I liked it. I've heard a lot of people say it's trash, but, you know, I liked it. And that's all that matters, is that I liked it. I miss that terribly. There we go. If you're a fan of speedruns, there's some crazy speedruns of this game. They're just amazing to watch. There's a technique they do up here where um, oh, I'll show you. I won't. I won't do it because it's. I think it's kind of. I haven't pulled it off, but if I can, I might give it a shot. You know. Um, I don't even think I can get it yet because I need the. Um, I think I need the mantis hooks to do it. But what they do, right? They come over here. And then they have a thing that lets them climb these walls. Mm -hmm. They sit on that bench, come back here, mm -hmm. die, f get their little ghost to follow them to here, right, till it's like there. They go up. And then there's a ledge that normally you have to get other stuff to go up, and it's normally a shortcut to come down. And they use the shade thing, and they use that pogo ability that where you can jump off enemies to just bypass the whole thing and get to the next area of the game without doing a whole bunch of stuff and it's crazy. It's speed running so cool, man. It's like holy crap. Ah, oh, crap. So yeah, if you're a fan of speed runs, check out Hollow Knight speed runs. They're really good.
so yeah, I, I, I did know I could do this for the longest time in my original playthrough. I think that's why I didn't get very far for the first, I think, 14 hours of the game. But I got better and finished the game pretty quick after that. I haven't completely finished my original playthrough. Like, I've done almost everything in the base game. Uh, I just haven't achieved the Radiance ending, because that thing's hard. And, you know, I, I'm not that good at the game that I can beat it. And, like, hats off to anyone who has the patience to do that, because I just don't. Anyway, I'm probably going to end it here. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I'll do more of this or not. I probably won't, but, you know, I might. Uh, yeah. Uh, love you, bye.